show them what you your favorite recipe is? Sure. This is a recipe that Wayne, you developed yourself. Well, I almost developed myself. I went to a restaurant in Huntsville, Alabama, and I ordered this on the menu. And I looked at it as I'm eating, I said, I can do this. <laughs> and what it is, is, and it's very simple, folks. It, it, 20 minutes basically start to finish. You need a grill, you need some teriyaki, you need some honey, spinach, a couple of different kinds of fruits, chopped walnuts, blue cheese, and raspberry vinaigrette dressing. So what we have here is a bed of spinach, and then I grilled this salmon, and you place that in the center like that. The colors are beautiful, Wayne. Thank you. And then we use raspberries to sprinkle over the center, along with some peaches. Now, any two different fruits will work for this. You know, the one I had originally was strawberries and mangoes, but I've used everything, whatever happens to be in season, and it works out perfectly. And then you sprinkle some chopped walnuts over that. And then if you like blue cheese, you put a little blue cheese on it. A little bit, not a lot. <laughs> and then I always like having things trimmed out with tomatoes. And these are special tomatoes. Yes, they came from Mount Madonna yesterday. From your garden. Yes. <laughs> and then you drizzle a little raspberry vinaigrette over it. And voila, you have a meal. Isn't that beautiful? Start to finish is usually 20 minutes. That includes grilling it and preparing it and serving it. So basically what you do is you lay out eight plates. And I use eight because that's the number of grand or children I have, <laughs> including the son-in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you put the spinach down. The hardest part is chopping up the fruits and, and the nuts. Can you talk a little bit about how to actually make the salmon part? Oh, yes. What I do there is I get teriyaki sauce and honey <laughs> and mix them one to one. So a cup of about a cup of each if I'm going to do it for eight people. Okay. Mix them together real well, and I, I warm it up a little bit so that it, it mixes better. Okay. Then I make a tray out of aluminum foil that I put on my grill. And so I just take two layers of aluminum foil and fold up the edges so this stuff can't run out. Put down a layer of teriyaki glaze, lay the salmon in there, and then pour the rest on. Mm. And what happened, and put the grill on, on medium high, because okay. I'm using a gas grill. Okay. Turn, close the lid and walk away. And what happens is that honey teriyaki, because the aluminum's hot, starts caramelizing. So the edges of the salmon are caramelized sugar, basically. Mm. Uh, and man, it's like candy. Candied salmon. And, and, <laughs> and what's really great is that doesn't look like much food, but when you finish eating it, you're full. And everybody's happy. Oh, it looks so fresh and local and... Just really delicious. Thank you. Thank you for bringing this in. And if you want to get the recipe for Wayne's salmon with honey teriyaki glaze, please just go to um, the Bite Size Green television link, um, which we're showing you.